After over 20 years of living with the wicked Lavan, Yaakov is finally able to return home. But uh, what kind of home life is he actually returning to? Vayeshev Yaakov be'eretz migore aviv, be'eretz kena'an. And Yaakov settled in the land of his father's sojourning, in the land of Canaan. When discussing the land of Canaan, it refers to it as the land of Yaakov's father's sojourning. Why does it refer to living in Canaan as just visiting when we know that Hashem promised to Ava, Mitzvah, and Yaakov the land of Israel? It's, it's from Hashem. The other idea that I'd like to point out is why the verse stresses that we're in the land of Canaan. We already know that Yaakov is, is in the land of Canaan because that is where he left and that's where he's already back. And we know it from the previous portion that he's already in the land of Canaan. The Zohar explains a different uh, meaning for the word migure. The word migure we explain to mean uh, uh, being a temporarily dwelling in a place that's not your own. But the Zohar refers to it from the Lushan of Magor, from using the language of Magor, which means fear and dread. So we have two different ideas with what the implication is by talking about the land being a place where either the, his fathers dwelled or a place that presents some type of fear and dread. Uh, imagine if you go to a place where it's just you and your family and you're a minority people and you're far away from your homeland. The, the people there speak a different language, they have a different ideals, different way of life. So there's a level of awkwardness and even up to fear that can result. We should all be able to appreciate the idea of when you're a small amount of people, just Yaakov and his family, surrounded by many Canaanite people and cities and nations, and your way of life is different. You, you have a way of life of Torah and mitzvot with a certain ideals, morality, and everyone else around you was, you know, in those times, in those places, they were worshiping idols, they were violent, there was a level of danger. Even though Hashem promised the land of Israel to Yaakov and his descendants, right now it was in the hands of the Canaanite people, and it was really controlled and run by them. The idea of being a sojourner, a just temporary visitor in a place that's not yours, comes together with the idea of magor, fear and dread. So Yaakov is finally coming home. And what does he want more than anything but to be able to settle in the land promised to him and his descendants and to live as a Jew, to live as Yaakov, the righteous person with his family. And instead, what does he have to deal with? We know that when he settled in Shechem, his daughter was taken away and a, a tragic event occurred. And that, that was the opposite of what, what Yaakov wanted. In addition to that, the Midrash tells us that all of the surrounding cities and people surrounded Yaakov and they wanted to attack them for the act of, of Levi and Shimon when they took revenge. And only a miracle by Hashem caused them all to disperse and go their separate ways, saving Yaakov and his family's life. Yaakov in this time and place in Parshat Vayeshev, as he returns to the land of Canaan, is bothered by two things. Number one, it's still the land of Canaan. It's not yet the land of Israel. Furthermore, in a more subtle, personal way, Yaakov and his family are like visitors because it's not their way of life that's, the, that's setting what is the status quo, what's politically correct, what's socially accepted. And this message is an eternal message. Today, the Jewish people, we are constantly bombarded with the out, external outer threats of pressure and even influence. A Jew has to know that he has him and his family and they have to create some type of insulation. They have to make a home that's a home of Torah, a home of mitzvot, and they have to raise their children on the proper values of modesty and morality and following, you know, the halachot that the Torah tells us about in all different aspects of life. But Yeshev Yaakov is telling all of the Jewish people for eternity until we merit Mashiach coming that we have to fight that fight, the fight of truth and the idea of protecting and raising a, a proper Jewish family even amongst an uh, environment that is uh, contrary to what we believe in. And this is what we call the idea of surviving in the Galut, in exile.